Hello everyone, it is me Pratima Adhikari with the new topic Australia. In this class, we are going to learn something about the unique continent of the earth, Australia, its physical features, social lifestyle and the economic activities. Australia is the continent which was discovered by Captain James Cook in 1770 AD. It is the smallest continent of the world which only is the continent which consists of the only one country that is Australia itself. Australia has the total area of 76 lakh 90,000 square kilometer. Its capital city is Canberra. Australia is the continent located completely in the southern hemisphere which includes the different unique features of vegetation, plants and animals in it. It is also the continent known as island continent as it is surrounded by sea and ocean from every side. Australia is the flattest continent of the world and also the sixth largest continent. Being the flattest continent, its shape looks like the sprawling pancake. So, Australia is also known as the sprawling pancake. Australia has the highest mountain peak known as Kosciuszko, 2228 meter high mountain is Kosciuszko. It has the longest river named as Moray, which travels to 2508 kilometer. Australia is also divided into the six states. These states are Southern Australia, Western Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and Tasmania. The physical features, the physical features of Australia is divided into three category western plateau, central lowland, eastern highland. The western plateau is a huge flat plain which lies to the west of Australia. This region occupies half of the area of Australia, which only consists of desert, the Great Sandy Desert, the Great Victoria Desert and Gibson Anami Canning Desert lie here. The Central Lowland is the another feature of Australia, which is extended from the Gulf of Carpentaria in the north to the southern coast. This lowland consists of three major lowland named as Carpentaria lowland, the Lake Eyre basin and the Murray Darling basin. Murray, the biggest river of Australia lies in this region. The Eastern Highland, it is the highest part of Australia which mainly includes the features like hills, mountains and plateaus. This physical feature is also known as the Great Dividing Range. The highest peak of Mount Australia, Mount Kosciuszko also lies in this same region. With the unique feature of climatic of region, Australia is divided into 
the seven major climatic region. Monsoon type climate, savanna type climate, the tropical climate, Mediterranean climate, British type climate, temperate climate and China type climate. Monsoon type climate is the climate or the climatic region which includes these features. The summers are hot and wet whereas, the winters are cold and dry. Rainfall is not similar in the different year, sometimes it rains excess and sometimes there will be very less rainfall in this region. This region has the vegetations like bamboo, palm and eucalyptus which are the part of deciduous forest. The savanna type climate. In this climatic region, the summers are hot and moist, whereas the winters are cool and dry. The vegetation that grows in this region is savanna woodland, which also consists of eucalyptus plant. And at the same time, in the same woodland, savanna grass also grows. The next climate is tropical climate, which is which includes the features like summer is hot and winter is cool. This climatic region receives very less rainfall. Due to this very rain, less rainfall, the thorny bushes like spinifex or the porcupine grass is grown here. The other varieties of eucalyptus plant also grows in this region like acacia and the salt bush. The another climate that is found in Australia is the Mediterranean climate. In this climatic region, summers are hot and dry, winters are cold and wet because there will be winter rain in this climatic region. The varieties of eucalyptus plants are also found in this region, namely the Mali bushes, the Kauri tree and the Zara tree. The next climate is the British type climate. In this climatic region, the summers are warm, winters are mild and there will be high rainfall throughout the year. In this climatic region, the vegetation such as pine, beech, and eucalyptus are grown. The temperate climate. This climatic region has the features like the summers are hot, the winters are cold and this region receives the average amount of rainfall uh, in the other seasons, but during the summer there will be more rainfall. The vegetations like the mallee bushes and the short grass grows in this climatic region. The China type climate. This climatic region has the features like the summers are hot and wet, the winters are mild and dry. In this climatic region also, mainly the eucalyptus plants are grown and beside the eucalyptus plant, the fawn plant is also grown in this same climatic region. Australia lying in the southern hemisphere has 
been gifted by the nature with the unique feature of animals and birds, which are not found in any part of the world. The fallow deer, Tasmanian devil, koala, dingo, red deer, emu, European rabbit, the green sea turtle, mulgara, wandering albatross, shortbeak, echidna, platypus, saltwater crocodile, spinner dolphin, black flying fox and kangaroo. Kangaroo is the national animal of Australia as well. Australia has also been gifted with the unique feature of birds. Let us move on to the social and economic life of Australia and its people. Australia is highly developed continent. Though it has the desert in the most of the part, but also it is the highly developed continent because of the better utilization of its resources, Australia has developed or Australia has made lots of advancement in the development of different sectors in this in its periphery. The social life of Australia mainly consists of the different features like the population is not equally distributed to all the parts. Australia is not equally distributed with regard to population. It means some parts are highly populated and some are very thinly populated. The most populated areas of Australia is the south and southeast coastal areas which mainly consist of these cities like Sydney, Canberra, Brisbane, Melbourne and Perth. These are the thickly populated cities which lie in the south and southeast coastal areas of Australia. If we talk about the original settlers or the aborigines of Australia, then the aborigines or the original settlers actually were the Asian people. The Asian people migrated to Australia and became the aborigines or the original settlers of Australia. Beside the Asian people, there are other Australian aborigines also who are living the life like the primitive people. Primitive people means the people who used to live the life like the animals in the forest. These primitive people have their own world, own ruling system and own living style different from the other people living in the continent of Australia. Australia mainly consists of the Christianity religion. It means the major religion followed in Australia is Christianity. So, as per the religion Christianity, the main festival of Australia is also the Christian festivals. But due to the presence of the other people from the different parts of the world, the different other types of festivals related to Hindu religion is also celebrated in Australia at the present context. The main language spoken in Australia as the national language as well as the official language is English. Australia has the highly advanced education and health facilities. Australian people are involved in the different varieties of economic activities. Let us gain some information about the economic life of Australia. 
the major economic activities that are practiced by the people of Australia are the agriculture, the gold mining, industry and the trade. Australia alone produces 30 percent of the total world's total wool. So, as for its production, it supplies 95 percent of its wool to the different parts of the world and only 5 percent of the total wool production is utilized in the continent of Australia. Australia has the different types of industries which manufactures the different varieties of goods and the similar goods or the same goods manufactured in industries are exported to the different parts of the world such as gold, sugar, iron and even the dairy products and as well as the eucalyptus oil also known as the medicinal oil is exported to the different parts of the world. Australia and its people has also adopted the another economic activity to earn their livelihood that is gold mining. Australia is gifted with the two gold mines by the nature and Australian people as well as Australia continent has well utilized these gold mines popularly known as well as the famous in the world. These two major gold mines are Super Pit, Kalgurli and Kulgadi. The huge amount of gold is extracted from this mining area and manufactured in the industry in the different shapes, the golden products and supplied to the different countries of the world. So, after watching this video, please do this question answer with your neat and clean handwriting. Hope you like the video. Thank you.